fingering weight yarn or any DK or spot weight yarn if you want. I double strand of this fingering weight yarn. And yeah, I love this yarn. These are the yarn from Expression Fiber Arts. I put the link under this video for you to check them out. They have an amazing range of yarn and colors. You need 4 millimeter hook. If you want to know where I get this hook from, you can check out on my Instagram, I put the link. I also at the shop because I bought it from Instagram. You need a pair of scissors, yeah, need a, a stitch marker. I just use it just one when I need to go somewhere. I don't want my work to, you know, unravel. And tape measurement just to measure later your guest wash and also your finishes piece. I want to uh, show you the shawl one more time this namaste shawl i actually start with this color combination these two color combination but then i ran out of the yarn then i have to combine the red one and yeah i really love this yarn like i already mentioned this is from expression fiber art and this video tutorial also sponsored by them you get also the free written pattern on my blog so you can have both video and the uh, pattern to read and as you see i again mix this red i already mixed the red with the brown which is this brown from before then i slowly ran out of that too so i mixed the red with this i still don't know how to call this color though <laughs> i think it's indigo blue or some people would say it, i don't know silver but to me it's not very silver doesn't matter <laughs> and yeah and the last few two set um of this i used just this one because i ran out of red again and at the end, I ran out of the base color, which is this green. And then I was like, okay, I stop now because the length is also enough for me. I wanted to say that it's so important to block your work. It's so much soft now after I block my work. The video you saw, I didn't block, but because this yarn is so delicious, if you use different yarn, maybe you need to block your work in order to make it drip, you know? This is a combination of 50% merino wool and 50% mulberry silk. So can you imagine? It's super, super soft. All right. I'm going to show you uh, only the two set because obviously this is just a repeating of this 12 set because the pattern is a multiple of 12 and I start my my shawl with 84 chain plus 9 let me check my pattern again yeah 84 chain plus 9 because the pattern is multiple of 12 plus 9 i'm going to show you uh with 24 chain plus 9 because like i said you're just gonna repeat as how many as you want so in this um finishes piece i have made a total of 80 82 let me check again 82 yeah 82 rows and it's major as you can see on the screen here 19 inches the width is 19 inches can see all of it the width is 19 inches and the length is 44 inches when i finish it i have only 41 inches then after i block my work it's kind of like expand a few more inches all right let's get started so i forgot to tell you that we are going to work with two strand because this is sing fingering weight yarn and yeah if you use dk weight or spot weight yarn you can use just one strand and if you want to make sure how the feeling of your scarf would be or your shawl would be just let's make this small swatch with me together i would suggest you if you just use one strand of dk weight yarn just use the hook 3.5 millimeter hook since this is two strand of fingering weight yarn i use four millimeter hook but again this is your own preference your own like if you want to have a shawl thick or loose for me i like the feeling of um, the shot that I have right now. All right, so we start with chain 24. Make the slip knot. 
in your own way and chain 24. Now we're going to add the bubble set. I'm going to show you what the bubble set. The bubble that we use in this uh, pattern is going to be three bubble and I will show you exactly how we're going to do that. So yarn over and we're going to do that in the sixth chain from hook. So we count one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the chain number six from hook. You're going to add bubble three bubble yarn over pull through the chain yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through the chain yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through the chain yarn over pull through three so now three times and let's count this you should have if you use double strand like me you should have 14 loops so two four six eight ten twelve fourteen fourteen loops on your hook but if you don't double strand you just use one strand you should have seven loops on your hook so yarn over pull through all loops okay now chain three And you're going to do again the same the bubble of three bubble like this one in the same stitch so yarn over go through that same chain stitch yarn over put through one yarn over go back to the hole again yarn over put through two yarn over go back to the same there yarn over put through three so you should have 14 if you double strand yarn over pull through all loops all right now we have made this set of the bubble and this set is like a bubble chain three bubble all right now chain one and you're going to skip two chain one two and you're going to add one double crochet into the next one skip two chain double crochet to the next one and now you're going to chain one skip next chain double crochet into next chain you're gonna do that three times okay so I'm already chain one skip next chain double crochet into the next one two time chain one skip next chain double crochet into the next one three times so we have done three times already and now you're going to skip next two chain and you're just gonna do again the set of the bubble so skip next next two chain Chain three again. So from now on, you're going to do the repeating. If you start your your work now with the long chain of the shawl and not doing the small swatch with me, you're going to repeat from now on the chain one, which is here, chain one and skip next two chain one double crochet into the next and you're going to do this repeat until the end of your work but since we are do a small swatch i'm just going to go to do to show you one more set for those who do the swatch with me you're just going to do one more set with me here so yeah now you're going to chain one skip next two chain and double crochet into the next one and now chain one skip next chain double crochet into the next one three times like this now one two three 
and now again you're going to skip next to chain and add the set of the bubble one more time one two three four chain three the same stitch to this three bubble one two and three right and now to finish our row one we're going to chain one and skip next two chain and add double crochet into the last chain and this is how we do our row one for row two we're going to chain four one two three four and turn our work this chain four count as double crochet chain one and now we're going to skip the first chain one space and we're going to add the bubble set into that chain three loop here so going to that one two three yarn over pull through all three now all 14 <laughs> 14 loops and chain three and again the three bubble in this chain three loop Two, three, and over, pull through all loops. You see here, you're gonna do double crochet chain one in each of the next four double crochet. So let's start with the first one. Double crochet on top of double crochet from previous row, chain one. It's one time already. We're gonna do that four times. Two. Sometimes two loop. Oh, it's not so easy. <laughs> Three. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna make it. Four. Wow. We we do it. We did it. And now we're just gonna add the bubble set inside of this chain chain three loop again. So it's kind of like now is a repeating again. So it's just gonna start to repeat from in the pattern you see all of this. Okay, you're gonna start to repeat again from the yeah the bubble set. So let's do the repeating of this bubble in there the set one two three chain three one more one two three and now again chain one oh no no not yet not chain one sorry and now again you're just gonna add double crochet chain one so double crochet always go on top of double crochet from previous row so double crochet chain one four times we just did one two three and four and this last set put inside of the chain um, of chain three loop two three three all chain three and again one two three two ah all right and now for row two we are going to finish it with double crochet on top of turning chain so just go top of turning chain Voila, we are done with row two. Woohoo, almost halfway. So, row three, <laughs> we're going to chain three and turn our work. And this chain three count as double crochet, okay? Now, we're going to add again the set of bubble, chain three bubble, on top of this chain three loop. So, one. Two, three, through our chain three. If you find it's too fast, you can slow it down. The video in the corner of this video on the right side, and 
You can also always come back, turn back to see how I do it, or just open another browser to see the free pattern on my blog. Okay, now we did that. Now we're going to skip next chain one space and going to do chain one double crochet for the next four double crochet. Okay, now chain one, double crochet on top of double crochet. Now one time already. Chain one. Oops. Two times. Chain one, double crochet again. Three times, chain one, and double crochet again. Four times. Okay, you see that? Should have something like this now. And now, you know what? You're just going to repeat again now from here, from when you put the set inside, because we're going to do that again together. So just going to put that set inside on top of that three loop. One, two, three, three uh, chain three, and again. Put that in the chain three loop. One, two, three. And you know what to do. Chain one, double crochet. Yeah, four times. Ready? One, two, three, and four. Oops. And now, going to do that set again. Alright, and now we're going to finish our row 3 with chain 1, double crochet in 3rd chain of turning chain. Let's see, where is the 3rd chain of turning chain? This one. Oops, doo -doo. So, now I stop here because I'm going to change the color. In every row 4 of my scarf, you see my shawl, I change the color into you know either this one or the other one. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change into this color. And in order to, this is just the way I like and I think many people do that too. So at the last stitch that I'm going to do double crochet, I'm kind of like halfway through. So when I have only two loops on the hook, this case I have four loops because I double strand. When I have um, these two loops, when you just not double strand, you just have two loops on the hook, you're going to already take the new color and put it in. That's how you finish. And so you can do this way if you want to. Now I'm going to start my row four. So row four, I'm going to chain four work with the tail this way is easy for me later on chain one already two three four let me cut the yarn so I cut the this yarn because I'm gonna work with the gray one now the indigo one now all right so you're gonna turn your work and this chain four count as um, double crochet chain one So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to, uh, we're going to skip first chain one space and we're going to add double um, bubble set into this chain three loop again. Like I said, I like to work in with the tail already so I'm just going to hold it together like that. Two, three, chain three. All right, and now I'm going to uh, chain one. So 
this row is slightly different. You will see now is chain one, and I'm going to add a bobble set again. But this time I'm going to add in chain one space here. You see this chain one space. I'm going to add, let me show you. I'm going to add this set again in that chain one space inside here. And then I'm going to skip this by chain one between and then add another set here. And then I'm going to chain one in between and I'm going to add another set here. So I'm going to show you slowly so you know what I mean. I already chain one. So I'm going to go here now. Two, three. Okay, chain three. Two, three. Okay, now chain one. And I'm going to do again, but not in here to the next one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. So now you can see I have done two times twice and chain one. Now I'm going to go here. So now it's going to be a repeating from the beginning, which is the set of bubble that I add on the bubble set, the three chain three loop from previous row. I'm going to do that here and I'm just going to repeat this step in this part. And yeah, if you do the whole thing, you're just going to repeating that until you get into the end of the row. So now let's do the repeating um, stage, which is bubble set inside of this chain tree loop. one and again going to go to this chain one space Skip already chain one, skip next chain one space, go to the next one. Okay, chain one. And now I'm gonna go to this one. And this row four, we are ending it with double crochet in the chain of turning chain. And again, I'm going to change the color back into this original color. So I'm just gonna hanging on with these two loops or four loops in this case. And yeah, put back the color. You can see you now so beautiful when you change the color in row four because it's kind of like contrast. And now for row five, we're going to chain three. And like I said, I like to include all the yarn inside. So this way it's secure. One, two, three. Before we go anywhere else, let me put this color away. All right. Now, our last row, because this is like the repeat 
I will tell you later so you don't get confused. Let's do our row five, turn the work, and this chain three, cow as double crochet. And now you're going to add bubble, chain three, bubble again inside of that chain three loop. And I like to work with the tail already. Oops. It seems complicated to work with the tail already, but trust me, it's worth it because it saves a lot of time for web in or the tail <laughs> at the end. All right, already got the set in there. And now you're going to skip next chain one space chain one double crochet in each of next four bubbles okay let's do that chain one we skip that chain one space here that's what the pattern tell us to do and now just gonna add double crochet inside of that yeah bubble here one oops chain one now again, going to this bubble. Two, chain one. Whew. Go to this one. Take the tail along. Three, chain one. Almost there. The bubble. Four. Whew. And now what we're going to do is that we're going to skip next chain space, which is this one. And we're just going to repeat again from here, which is this set inside of chain th three loop. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, and over go through all. Oh. Okay, before we go anywhere else, let me show you. So you can see here the beginning of where we are repeating from here, which we already do one set here, is always aligned with all of the beautiful bubbles set from previous uh, row. So the repeat start from here. Now we're just gonna do that and just gonna Every repeat in this row five start from the alignment of the set. Just so you know, just that <laughs> I wanted to say. Now chain one and just gonna do it again. Skip that chain one space. Now I'm on my, I already did my last set here and I'm going to end this row with chain one, double crochet in third chain of turning chain. That is how we do the swatch to just try it on how it will look and how many yeah the the size of your swatch so yeah my swatch for this set is seven inches width and two inches tall or length and now it's just the repeating of row two to row five as many rows as you wish it's simple and easy and beautiful let's look at closely so nice 
I really really love this dish and I do hope that you will like this dish too let me know in the comment below if you have any question and if you want to grab the printable pattern of this one you can do it on my Ravelry and Etsy shop on the printable version you get the diagram of this one as well the diagram is super easy oh.